If this kind of music sounds different to your ears, well, it is normal. This very distinctive music is a kind of cutting edge music. Cutting edge is a unique word and has a sharp difference from mainstream music. With this kind of creativity, they need a bigger canvas. And to get this, they made it with independent labels, or also known as indie. But first, let's make it clear. Indie is not a genre. Indie is an independent movement of musicians. Starting from the recording to the publishing, it is done independently or without affiliation with a major label. This movement first appeared in England in the 80s. That was also a way to protest and or push a political movement through music. Indie musicians also generally create arrangements and lyrics straight from their hearts, without any pressure from labels that are bound by regulations. And indie music does not follow market trends. Sometimes, they also put their local music accent, such as language, arrangement, and musical instrument. As a part of the global community, Southeast Asia also contributes quite a lot to the richness of world music. The creative minds of artists want to create new cutting-edge music and be free to express their tastes from dictation of mainstream taste and notation. Sometimes they do not hide the fact that they are amateurs and they play with a simple music setup. This type of way and fresh taste of music are greeted warmly in Southeast Asia. In Indonesia, there is ICEMA, or Indonesia Cutting Edge Music Awards. In Asia, there was AVIMA, or Asia Pacific Voice Independent Music Awards. But there are also many smaller scale appreciation events for these independent music creativity, from fans and enthusiasts. As a part of global music ecosystem, Independent musicians in Southeast Asia are mostly influenced by British and American artists. Jadi kalau musik kita masih banyak mengadopsi karakteristik musik dari barat ya entah itu dari Britpop atau Amerika atau uh, ya hardcore pun kan ada yang apa namanya American hardcore terus yang ber, apa yang uh, pop pun ada yang indie pop, Swedish pop, Britpop. Kita masih masih ke arah sana sih gitu untuk musik-musik di, di Asia tuh aku dengar masih lebih banyak ke arah sana gitu uh, walaupun ada juga beberapa yang mengangkat kekhasan mereka seperti beberapa band Malaysia itu mengangkat kekhasan khas Melayunya cukup kuat tapi untuk menjadi uh, pattern sendiri untuk musik Asia belum paling kalau Asia secara secara besar yang yang bisa seperti itu ya baru baru Jepang sih tetap Since connected online through MySpace in early 2000, in 2022, various online platforms provide wide open stages for independent artists. Southeast Asian indie artists never stop their creative experiments. Let's say from Indonesia, Feast, Stars and Rabbit, Sore, from Thailand, Jim and Swim, Vietnam, The Flop, The Philippines, The Buildings. Four of Spades, Singapore, Mild Life, Halal Soul, Malaysia, Demir, Half-Assed Man. And these are only the tip of a huge iceberg of Southeast Asian independent musicians. Are you a fan of one of them? Aris Satya, Nico Arianto, for Steve Today.